10 assets that avoid probate. Let's start with number 10, a married couple ownership. This is tenants by entirety, where a spouse and another spouse own the property together. Upon the death of the first, there's no need to go to probate. Number nine, a joint tenancy ownership. This has a survivorship right. Two people own the property together, one dies, the remaining person takes the property without any probate involvement. Number eight, a pay on death account. Think of a life insurance or a designated beneficiary account. Upon the death of the principal, the beneficiary takes the property. Next, we've got trust assets. Creating an estate plan and properly titling your assets in your trust avoids probate upon your death. Next, we've got unpaid wages. In most cases in Michigan, an employer can pay the unpaid wages of a decedent to the decedent's spouse, children, parents, or siblings, unless the person previously had requested otherwise. Coming in at number five is cash under $500 or wearable apparel. As long as no probate estate has been previously set up, a nursing home, convalescent home, morgue, law enforcement agency, under certain conditions can turn these assets over to the family without any probate court involvement. Number four are cars and automobiles. As long as the combined value is under $16,000 for the vehicles and there's no probate, you can go to the Secretary of State without any probate court orders. Next, we've got boats and watercrafts. As long as the combined value of those assets are under $100,000, again, no probate, use the Secretary of State. You got an income tax return coming? With the state of Michigan or the IRS, you can file Form 1310 with a certified death certificate, no need for probate. And finally, and the most commonly asked question are small bank accounts. In 2023, if it's under $27,000, you can use an affidavit, access the money, no probate court involvement.